Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a fun video planned today. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the top five palettes that I really regret buying that I actually never ever use. And then I'll share my top five palettes at the moment. So if that sounds like fun to you, go ahead and keep on watching, like the video and let's get into it. Okay, so today's video is really, really fun also because it's a collab video with one of my besties. I met her through YouTube and we've become really, really good friends. Her name is Ashley, Dr. Ash and her makeup is her channel. I'm gonna link it down below in the description box along with her video. And yeah, go check her out, you'll love her. Tell her I said hello. Eyeshadow is kind of her jam and she's just adorable. So I'm kind of curious to see what her choices are because eyeshadow is literally all she talks about on her channel. So definitely go check it out after this video. Okay, so on this channel, we gotta keep it real, you guys. You know how I roll. So lately, I've been telling you guys that I'm really trying to take a conscious approach to purchasing makeup, okay? I am not in a position to be spending a ton of money on makeup like I used to at the beginning of my channel. And I think videos like this really do help us out to think back to our previous purchases and to maybe not buy on impulse as much as we normally do. I know I do for sure. So if the shoes fit, honey, I'm just saying, put them on, put them on. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. The first one's kind of an obvious. I told you even when I filmed with it back then that I hated it. I thought it was disgusting. Man, that's kind of harsh. I actually did tell you it was disgusting, but it's the MAC Holiday 2020 palette. The shadows were patchy and the formula was dry and I just could not get a pretty look out of it. I don't know what it is. Like there's shades in here that I do like, and I've gone back to it like a year, two years later. And every time I put a look together, I just don't like it. And I think it made me realize like Mac shadows suck because I had like a couple of the single shadows, but all of the Mac single shadows I had were like shimmer formulas. And I really, really like those. Um, and I've had collections after this 2020 that I really like, like the Black Panther one, the, the Harvest one or the October one from last year. So nice. So good. Love it. This one sucked so bad. I don't even know why I kept it, but I hate it. This one's awful. I hate it. I need to toss it now. I guess another good point about this palette is this was holiday 2020, guys. Like during the holidays, they're going to release all of these collections, throw all kinds of marketing at you guys. Don't fall for it. If you truly are not obsessed already with the brand or the formula, think about it two and three times before you purchase it. Ooh, the next one's a brand that I really, really love, but I'm sorry, it is what it is. It's gonna be the Natasha Denona Circle Loco. I actually didn't have such an issue with the formula. The formula was Natasha Denona formula, but look at that. It's like circus, right? It's circus themed, Cir Circo Loco. And um, at the time, I think I came up with a couple of cute looks. And since then, I think I used it maybe once after I filmed. This was in 20, was it 2020? I think it was 2020, 2021 maybe. I have not used it since. I mean, it's been a good year and a half, maybe almost two years since I've touched this palette. And I just don't, I don't gravitate towards it. I regret buying it. Um, I was going through my phase when all I wanted on my eyes were color, but like even this is just too much color for me. And I just never grabbed it again. So for that reason, I don't like it. I wouldn't say I hate it, but I never ever use it. And I do regret buying it. This one was a, this is a bigger Natasha Denona palette too. So it's like, I think it's like $125 if I'm not mistaken. So not money well spent. The next one kind of hurts my soul a little bit because I love the brand also, but it is what it is, honey. And I'm talking about the Temptalia X Sydney Grace uh, collaboration. They released three different color stories. I believe that for this one, I got it in the deep, but this is the one, what is this one? This is Radiant Reflection. And I think again, the same thing applies. It's the color. Um, I just was into color for like a year, a year and a half. And then I went back to my roots where I still do like color. Clearly I'm wearing color, but just more subdued. And I just, you know, was kind of going back out in public, back to the office. And sometimes I just didn't want all this colorful shadow on my eyes. And as you can see, it's like practically brand new because I never ever use it. 
Um, at the time when I filmed my videos, I think I filmed each palette separately. I really liked it. I feel like I came up with really pretty looks. Like I said, Signet Grace Formula is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite brands, but it's just not what I'm into. And because of that, I think I ended up giving one of the color stories to my sister when I was trying to declutter. And I kept two of them, but this one's just so colorful and I just don't, and I use it. I regret using it. Again, money down the drain because it's beautiful. Formula is great, but if you're not going to use it, it's money down the drain and I regret buying it. Okay, the next one, I literally, I think I used it once also right before I filmed a live actually. And I really regret buying it. I still am a huge lover of green eyeshadow, but I think I've only used this palette once. And I was just in that era where I was bored, we were locked down due to COVID, and I was buying anything and everything for no good reason at all. But I'm talking about the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions. I had had a couple of uh, Melt palettes that were really good. I think it was the Beetlejuice collection. And I loved the formula. I loved everything about it. And then I wanted to go back in and get more. And obviously at the time, I was just like all green eyeshadow all day, every day. Again, still a lover of green eyeshadow. But for some reason, I just felt like Mm, I don't know like especially that area of the palette that section of the palette just kind of bothered me like not bothered me but it's like I couldn't do anything with it and everything I did do I didn't like I tried it a couple times maybe a couple times one time after that and I just mm, it was one of those palettes that I was like well I still love to look at it I can still swatch it but it's like in 2023 guys, I am not buying palettes just to swatch, just for the hell of it. I'm not buying singles to swatch. I'm buying things that I'm actually gonna use and that I actually really, really love that are practical for me. So I do regret buying this. Okay. <laughs> I actually cheated and I have a six, but the six one is a shocker. <laughs> so you're you're gonna be mad maybe a little bit at me, but I just gotta keep it real. The, the fifth palette that I regret buying is one of the ABH Norvina palettes. These are massive. They're huge. And this one was one that I was just at Sephora with my sister, you guys. Like, and for no reason. I think she bought the orange one, which she still uses very often. It's like the butterfly one. And I thought, well, I like the orange one, but I can borrow it from my sister if I want. So I'm just going to get the purple one. And like, no, this looks like, I don't know. I hate it. I honestly, I hate the color story. I think it's ugly. I think the formula is decent enough. I just, I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. So, um, yeah, there's no other except to say that. I've maybe tried to put a look together with this once, maybe just messing around like 11 o'clock at night, right before I wipe off my makeup anyway. I don't like it. I regret it. I think it was like the 60, 65 dollar price range. I don't know, but these are so bad and I hate them. They're too big. I don't know. The sixth bonus one. Oh my God, you're going to kill me. Uh, it is what it is, honey. The sixth one and a bonus one here that I regret buying and that I never, ever, ever, ever use <laughs> is the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega. This is Celestial Odyssey. And it's pretty, it's pretty enough. I just, I never, ever, ever grab this. Like, ever, okay? And maybe it's a good idea that I'm being honest with myself and putting it out there because Pat McGrath just released Holiday, you know, for this year. And so we've, we're kind of getting a sense of what we're getting. There's a couple of mini Mothership Megas with like blush included in them. And it's like... Girl, pay attention to what you actually use because this looks pretty. I think I've come up with pretty looks, but if I've used it all of five times, that would probably be exaggerating it a bit. I have not used it very much, you guys. And I try to be flexible, but I think I do have an issue with like the carton packaging. I really like the black lacquer packaging that she has for her motherships and not that that's everything. Obviously, it doesn't affect the, the quality of the shadow inside, but it's just, 
overall, I'm just like, meh. Like, no, I could have done without this. I regret buying it. It was also in the $60 to $70 price range. And, you know, I have another one. I have the Mothership Mega, the first one, the Celestial Divinity. I don't regret buying this one. Same packaging and everything, but I don't regret buying this one. I just like it a lot more. I've used it a ton more. And so, yeah, I just got to be honest with myself and... Like, maybe it's the fact that I don't like big palettes, or maybe it's the fact that there is so much repetition and the shimmer shades just kind of didn't feel like they went for me. I don't know what it is. It just didn't hit. And I'm going to be intentional about using it because I'm seeing shimmers now that I really like. But, um, yeah, yeah, I regret. I regret buying it. I'll just say it. And I didn't even buy this one right away, actually. I waited to see what kind of what people were saying and what kind of looks people were putting together. And I still bought it, even though I wasn't 100%, just because I just had that Pat McGrath FOMO, you know, um, which to be fair, I'm feeling that about the last mothership, even though I wasn't obsessed. I still feel like I need it because I have a collection at this point. But I need to get rid of that thinking. So anyway, I'm glad I'm doing this video because I do regret buying that. And I'm going to be extremely critical of the new Pat McGrath holiday collection this year and make sure that I don't buy stuff that I'm not ever going to touch. Okay, okay, okay. Enough with the heavy. Now let's talk about my five favorite palettes from my collection. There's so many other favorites, you guys, to be honest. Like I have so much stuff that I absolutely love, but these are some of like my most used palettes. And so I wanted to go with that since the other ones I hardly ever use. And so let's go into the first one. First one, which was such a shocker to me, but I love it so much. The different undertones, the different looks, how deep you can go with it. it the shimmers are on another level. Like everything about it, including the price, is perfection. I'm talking about the Juvia's Place, the coffee shop, the coffee shop. It is such a beautiful, chocolatey, neutral palette. It also helped me get rid of my craving for the Biba palette, the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I just thought it was so good. Look at the inside. Just the art, everything's so beautiful. I bought it right when it came out. I think that I paid like maybe $17.99 for it. I mean, it is just so, so pretty. And I haven't used it in like a month or two, so I'm gonna pull it out and use it again because perfect for fall, but oh my God, like the mattes are perfect, the shimmers are perfect. The undertones, like I said, you can get like a something a little bit more cooler toned or warm toned. You've got a little bit of the pewters. I mean, it is perfect. I love, love, love. Love this palette. The next one that I love that I absolutely do not regret buying and actually probably, yeah, I would say most definitely my most used Pat McGrath palette is gonna be Mothership 6. This is Midnight Sun. Oh my God, it's just so gorgeous. Look at the artwork, you guys. She does this with all the motherships, but like, come on, it's just gorgeous. Every single time that I do a look with this palette, I just love it. It comes out perfect every time. There is, I mean, you have like the two browns here, the light brown, the deep brown, and then the orange, but even like this one here, you can use it. I mean, it blends like a matte, even though it's kind of like a satin shimmer. It's just so good. I even use the special shades in this palette a little bit more than I do any of the other palettes, but it is gorgeous. I actually do have a three looks one palette with this palette, so I'll go ahead and link it down below. But yeah, this is my favorite Pat McGrath palette, my most used Pat McGrath palette, and one that I love. The next one's a new palette, but when you know, you know, okay? Like you can't fight the feeling, it is what it is. Say what you want, but it's gonna be Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town palette. It is just incredible. I've used it a lot already, but every single look that I do with this palette, I am obsessed with. Everything, every color. I mean, it is just perfect. I love that there's like a new shimmer formula in it too, so that's really fun. But I, I've told you guys this a little bit, but I'm really into like subdued or neutral looks this year and adding a little pop of shimmer back into it. Of course, the greens and the blues can't ever be too far from a palette that I'm going to love, but it was just so good. And I think I said this in my video because I did make a video on uh, three looks, one palette with this video. I'll link that too. But I said, eh, I think this might be my favorite. Yes, this is my new favorite. Look at the, the packaging is also so cool. 
I love this palette. I love this brand. I love the brand owner. I love everything about this. It's perfect. It's one of my favorite palettes and most used palettes right now in my collection. The next one is an oldie, but damn, it's a goodie, you guys. And I think they remastered it. I don't have the remastered one, but it doesn't matter because I love this one so much. It's the Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane Palette. Oh, so pretty. These are the shimmers. It's an all shimmer palette. This was around the time that I was learning about indie, but I was like, wait, like an all shimmer palette? Like you can do that, you know? And I just like... I tried, I didn't try this one first. I think, if I'm not mistaken, then Hydrant, my first palette from the brand. And I quickly went back and I bought this when I was able to because I just knew that I loved her shimmers. But then this is my most used Adept palette. This one and then Hydrant actually. Um, and now even La Cienega, those are the top three that I use from the brand very, very frequently. But you can see the shimmers have like dip in the pan because I use it so much. It's gorgeous. The shimmers are perfect. This is one of my favorites, and this is one of my favorites. I'll just swatch them, because, like, why not? Oh, my gosh. They're just so pretty. They're so pretty. Let me swatch. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, so sheeny, so wet-looking. Like, I don't know. This is, like, an older palette at this point, because... I think I got it at the end of 2020 or like right at the beginning of 2021, but I don't care. Like I will keep using them until they're completely gone because it's just so good. And when I was thinking of like five palettes that are my favorite in my collection, this was literally the first thing, the first one that came to mind before I picked any of these other palettes. So this was the first one I grabbed, but yeah, I'm just like, Ugh, I'm a lover of Adept anyway. I'm a lover of Indie, but this is one of my favorite favorite palettes. I kind of cheated on the last one too. I'm going to treat two palettes as one, but um, I'm just I quickly, quickly picked them out again because I knew right away these are some of my favorite, favorite palettes in my collection. And I also feel like the shimmers are a little more unique in these than anything else I have. So that's saying something, especially in the indie, with the indie stuff I have. But it's Odin's Eye Merry Christmas and Christmas Eve palette. The art is so cute. I love the artwork on the palettes. Here's the Merry Christmas palette. Like, oh my God, you guys, yes. It does say Merry Christmas. It does feel like a Christmassy type palette with the colors that it has, but it's just such good quality. Like I cannot stress how good quality Odin's Eye is. And I had heard this before um, from other people and I had never tried the brand. This was the first time that I had tried the brand, but I just like, oh, it's so, so good. Like I'm just like looking at these shimmers like, oh my God, oh my God, how pretty, oh. I just love it so much and the mattes are just delicious and I just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm obsessed with the Evening Sister palette. It's just so good. Um, I think that if I had to pick between both of them, um, I would go with Christmas Eve. You'll see why, but <laughs> duh, because it's mostly blue. Blue and green are kind of like my power colors, but from the both palettes and maybe, this is a bold statement, but maybe one of the top three indie shimmers that I have is in this palette. And this is the, it's called Gorgeous. That's what the shade is called, Gorgeous. But look at this palette. Oh, so good. I mean, there's dips in those pans. Can you guys tell? Because I've gone to town on these palettes. And I, um, this one, I, how do I convey? You can kind of see it, but like all the different shimmer colors in this shimmer. Like, can you see what I'm seeing? It sold out quickly because people were just obsessed with it and running to get it. So I'm really happy that I pulled the trigger, but oh my gosh. Hands down, some of my favorite palettes in my collection. And yeah, this is hands down. That's the one right there. One of my favorite shimmers in my entire collection. If you're into eyeshadow palette reviews, indie palettes, definitely check out the playlist that I'm going to leave linked somewhere here on the screen. Go check out my friend Ash, Dr. Ash and her makeup. She's so fun. I love her. So make sure you go say hi here. Make sure that you hit like. 
Which of these did you agree with? Which did you not agree with? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video, share with a friend. Those things are going to help me get back into the algorithm, you guys. So I really, really appreciate that. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you guys later. Bye.